Hi everybody, welcome back to Just Dream Guide. Okay, so you guys know how this goes. Channel messages first. Okay, so Father wanted me to share with you guys um, Angel Shuffle. It's a thing, okay? It's like one of these things where you can have whatever playlist that you prefer or whatever. I usually use Pandora, okay? Whatever mood I am in, I grab, you know, like the artist. And you know, you can ask questions to your angels. You can say like, Father, show me what my person's thinking. Father, show me how I'm feeling right now towards my person. Father, what's my mood right now? And he'll just put in a series of songs for you, okay? It could be Apple Music, it could be Pandora, it could be Spotify, whatever, you know, streaming thing, YouTube playlist that you've made, you know, whatever playlist that you feel comfortable with. And ask Father to show you some answers, okay? And it'll come. So, yesterday I was cleaning up, and so I couldn't sit on this download till Monday, because I'm sure by then Father will give me a lot more to tell you guys. But three songs came up in particular, back to back to back, and it just tripped me out. And the first song that came up was Nobody's Supposed to Be Here by Deborah Cox. And I'm like, Father told me to share this with you guys because nobody else fits this narrative besides your person. It's like, how did you get here? Nobody's supposed to be here. I've tried that love thing for the last time. So you and your person, y'all feel the same way about each other. Like, it never works out in love with anybody else. And so it's like your heart is like, wow, how did you get here? And so that's why y'all run. Sometimes you run from them and they run from you, that runner chaser vibe, you know. And you kind of like reject this sometimes, even though this is your person, this is your situation. It's because you're like, man, nobody's supposed to be here. I've gotten hurt before in the past. Um, maybe even y'all have hurt each other. You know what I'm saying? And I'm saying each other because nobody's to blame. We've all done some things toward each other, okay? So it's a it's a thing there, okay? Apologies on both ends. But um, for some reason, that song is very, very important. Nobody's supposed to be here. The second song was Trust. It came on right after that, which was Trust by Monica and Keisha Cole, where she was like, I just want him to trust me. He should. I never heard him. He should, you know? You know? <laughs> and she's like, let me be the one who can take you from all the things you see. Y'all know I'm not a singer, so don't judge my life, okay? They sing way better than I do. Anyways. Um, yeah, your masculine this weekend is going through so much change, okay? I don't know what's happened this weekend, but it's a huge shift, okay? It's a sudden dramatic shift this weekend. And they're realizing that they can trust this, okay? It's like, Father's like, come on, get in the water. And they like, uh, they putting their toe in, like, okay. Because last time I got in this water, you know, I almost got it up. I almost drowned, is what Divine Masculine is saying. And Divine Feminine is like, you know, you can trust me. Okay, I'll give you everything that I got and I won't stop till you get it right. All the trust. I don't know. Y'all know I can't sing, so don't judge my life again. Don't judge my life. And then the last song that came on was Love All Over Me by Keisha Cole. I mean, no, Monica. She's like, must not have been paying attention. Step right on in it. Didn't even notice how deep I was. Y'all know I can't sing, so don't judge me, okay? But y'all feel like, you know, this person has rescued you from a situation, you know? If you met your person, you know what I'm talking about, you guys. Y'all have been in some bad relationships and it's been like, ugh, ugh, ugh. But your person makes you so happy. Even going through trials and tribulations, it's not necessarily like, I mean, it's frustrating, yes, but it's not like the end all, be all, give up, you know? So those three songs definitely came to mind this morning and I was just like, wow, okay, Father, you want me to share, so I'm sharing. And then that song, Here and Now, okay, Here and Now by Luther Vandross. This is a very specific message, okay, you guys? So don't judge my life right now. This is very specific for some people who need to hear this, okay? But Here and Now by Luther Vandross, this is your person. They're in your life right now. That's for Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine. Y'all are in the right place right now. Y'all know that this is your connection. This is your person. It's deeper than you ever imagined any connection will be, okay? And so that's what's sometimes scary, all right? But don't worry because the union is here. I keep hearing that and I keep seeing that. So trust the timing. Trust the signs and signals that you're getting. Some of you guys are dreaming very, very deeply. Some of you guys are seeing symbolism throughout the day. You know what I mean? Um, you might get a phone call. You might see some angel numbers, whatever the case may be. It's letting you know that you are actually on the right path, especially if you're thinking of your person, okay? And especially if you're thinking of past mistakes because you don't want to do it again. You want to fix it, okay? Four, 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 as I say that on the timestamp. That's amazing. All is well, okay? So just trust that Father knows what the timing is supposed to look like. 
okay? He knows that everything has to fall apart for it to fall in place. And so now y'all are rebuilding this, okay? It's not gonna just happen overnight. Union is here, but y'all are rebuilding this. But it's brick by brick. And then sometimes, you know, we get tested in a way where we put the wrong brick together. And it's like, okay, Father's like, no. He has to knock that brick down and say, okay, try again. Because he wants this to be a firm foundation. And then Divine Masculine, he's working on your finances for you to create a firm foundation. So don't worry, you're not going to have every single thing that you need when you come into union, okay? Just being there and being willing to make the commitment is what Father wants you to do, okay? And I'm seeing a lot of truths revealed with you, um, Divine Masculine. A lot of truths got revealed with you in a karmic situation, okay? It might not necessarily be anything negative or bad, but you're seeing this person for who they are. And not in a negative way. You know, a karmic situation is just to let you know that this is not your person. They can do everything for you and anything for you, but your eyes continue to open every day, you know, because you realize that they're just not your person, okay? So it's just like, you know, um, just seeing things for what it is. They're not a bad person or whatever, um, but you're just seeing them for who they are and they're just not your person. Your person is your person, okay? They can get close or whatever, and most of the time they can't get too close, you know what I'm saying? Because there's no comparison when it comes to what your person makes you feel, how they make you feel, how safe they make you feel, how they make you laugh, the time that you want to spend with them, etc., etc. I can go on, you guys. But this is just not your person, and every day you're seeing more and more of it that you know you really, in your heart, desire to be next to your person. I'm also hearing that um, the time is now, and then I'm hearing that song. Um, I posted that on my video uh, last week, I think Friday, but it was uh, I'm hearing what you won't do, you do for love. You try everything, but you won't give up. So Divine Masculine, that's you right now. You are very much so tripping yourself out because you're like, how can I still keep trying? What is going on with me? What's wrong with me? Everything is perfectly okay. Father is giving you the signs and symbols to let you know that this is your person, okay? And what you won't do, you do for love. So Father is showing you what unconditional love truly, truly looks like, okay? I'm seeing Divine Masculine, you're getting over addictions. You're healing addictions because what you won't do, you do for love, okay? So now you're seeing your love life, you know, and you're like, man, I'll do anything to just be with this person. So a lot of changes you're making within yourself. This weekend specifically, I'm seeing a lot of shifts, okay? And I'm seeing overcoming addictions right now, for real. I'm seeing recovery, okay? So this might have been your last drink, your last smoke, your last blunt, your last whatever, whatever, whatever. Okay, you guys, it's because you're preparing your body. I'm hearing preparing your temple for your person, okay? So continue to do that. Continue to take care of yourself. I mean, I'm seeing reflection and I'm seeing a lot of water. So you might have taken the advice and gotten around a lot of water. You might be drinking a lot of water. Whatever the case, you know, I see progression, okay? I'm seeing progression with you, Divine Masculine. <laughs> Divine Feminine, I feel like you're getting, you're feeling the longing. You're, you're longing for your person. You're feeling like, you know, you want to just be close to them. Um, very, very specific download that just came right now. Your person probably drives around or drives by you or near you just to feel nearer or close to you because you're safe, you're home, okay? But they're just not ready yet to come forward with the communication. It'll come after today. So, you know, this weekend, like I said, y'all expectations should have been low when it comes to communication because they were just in reflection and they didn't have the words. Um, a lot of your words in the past have hurt them too. So to be in reflection and to be going through such a vulnerable state, vulnerability is really big today too. Um, they were avoiding conversations and avoiding being next to you, but they still miss being next to you, okay? Being next to you. And for some reason I'm hearing that song, if I lay here, if I just lay here, would you lie with me and just forget the world? So your partner, they just want to be next to you, okay? But they also don't want to talk right now. They just would like to just sit next to you and, you know, um, some people would say collect your energy, but that's not what I'm seeing. I'm not seeing like an energy vampire. I'm just seeing somebody that needs comfort because they're going through a heart chakra opening, okay? Third eye opening, crown chakra opening, okay? I know, I see things now. You know, I love, I'm seeing my love, okay? And my love life has to increase because, you know, the abundance is there. The finances increase when your love life increases, I'm telling you guys. So anyways, that's what I have for you guys. I hope this information helped and bless. We're gonna do three videos after this and that's it, okay? <laughs> this today is Sunday. Today you should be relaxing. And I just wanted to do this to help the collective because I know a lot of reflection is happening, a lot of longing. And I'm seeing your person just wants to sit next to you and just be next to you without having any words exchanged right now. You might be sending telepathic messages or receiving, you know, telepathic love. 
So it's in the air, it's there, you're not crazy. You're feeling your person for a reason, okay, you guys? I hope this information helped and blessed. Let's go to the next video for the next message. Thank you guys so much. Hi everybody, welcome back. Okay, so this is your, um, this is a combined situation. General situation, action, outcome. Let's see what's going on with the collective for divine masculine and divine feminine. Let's see what's the situation, Father, for the collective. Hold on. Triumph, okay? I told y'all, something happened this weekend. It was a big shift, okay? This weekend, you know, victory, 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 victory is here. Union is here, okay? Have no fear. This is crazy because I keep seeing and feeling this energy, even though I'm also seeing sadness, okay? From both of you guys, from Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine. I'm seeing sadness, but mainly because you're just kind of like, you know, you're purging yourself from uh, past mistakes and past pain, okay? Ah, look at this, your action, fertility, okay? There's fertility here, but that's just a new birth of a new life, okay? You're walking into your purpose, okay? You and divine feminine, divine masculine, divine feminine, whatever the case may be, y'all are both walking into your divine purpose, which is to be together for this abundance. In all areas, I'm talking about finances, prosperity, love, peace, okay? Peace being one of the biggest things I'm hearing right now really loud and clear is that you're walking into a peaceful moment with your person, all right? And I'm also seeing fertility as well. So, you know, when y'all do get together, there may be a sexual union between the two of you guys. And, you know, conception of a new child, okay? Because y'all have y'all have been waiting for this. And again, I keep talking about this legacy money, legacy, legacy, legacy money, okay? It's a legacy that you guys are creating. Y'all are together for a divine purpose. Never forget that. So for your outcome, you have spiritual strength in the universe. The universe card is the world card in the regular tarot, which is a cycle has been complete. Okay? Thank Father. Because your spiritual strength. It's gained spiritual strength. Okay? So you might be saying 999, 1010, and things like that because you've gained spiritual strength. There has a there's been a cycle that's closing, okay? And there's a lesson that has been learned through this, okay? I'm hearing that patience has been learned through this. Um, the, you know, addictions have been, I'm talking, I'm seeing recovery from addictions today, okay? I'm seeing that somebody's realizing that addictions are not helping them, it's only feeding their fears. And that's the truth, okay? Addictions only feed your fears. Sometimes we go through things and we decide, okay, let me have this drink or let me have this drug or, you know, let me eat this food because we want to feel better. But usually what it does is it causes us to overthink and over process things, okay? But there's a cycle that's been complete and it's gained you spiritual strength. Both of you guys have gained spiritual okay so that's beautiful i knew there was a reason why i did this reading today sacral chakra okay is important right now the things that you want are coming to life you might be seeing 222 as well okay things that you want are coming into fruition okay everything that you pray for hope for manifested okay uh, triumph all right and the sacral chakra is about creativity it's about your childhood traumas and things like that that you're healing okay it's right below the belly button i keep talking about the sacral chakra and that's crazy because it seems as though the father is saying that the sacral chakra is healed with triumph being here and the universe part being here saying that you've completed this cycle you've absolutely mastered some of your childhood traumas okay so i'm very excited about this specific collective you guys like i keep saying this is a specific collective I don't know, you guys. Y'all have changed and y'all have grown, okay? Let me get an Angel of Abundance card for the collective right now. What's the Angel of Abundance card for the collective, Father? How can they increase their finances? It says positivity, faith, and optimism, okay? Positivity, faith, and optimism. This is how you create abundance, okay, right now. For those of you that are worried about your finances, okay, divine masculine and divine feminine, it says you open the doorway to positive experiences and opportunities with your positive expectations and energy. Do not allow negative energy or temporary setbacks to interfere with the path that you're on. Keep the faith and keep going, okay? Keep the faith, okay? Spiritual strength. That's crazy because there's triumph here. Spiritual strength because there's triumph here. Keep the faith and keep going. You've learned the lessons from the past, okay? You've learned lessons from the past, okay? The cycle is complete, all right? Now it's time to birth those ideas being with your person, okay? Opening up that heart chakra as well. Being with your person in order to create abundance. Keep your mind positive and keep your mind focused on the things that you want. In the past, in the past, okay? As a child, I'm feeling that you guys did not get the things that you wanted as a child. 
You know, you just settled for whatever. But Father's saying, don't settle. Keep your thoughts positive. It's really important to maintain positivity. And like I said, the sacral chakra is I want. So it's really important to focus on the things that you want, the person that you want, the career that you want, the um, the finances that you want, the life that you want, the lifestyle that you want to live, okay? Focusing on the things that you want. So let's get a quick um, divine masculine to divine, to divine feminine and vice versa, okay? Cards, to see what you want to tell each other today, okay? Again, this is going to be like three videos, so I'm just trying to combine as much as I can. Because I just want to get those, I just want to get the message out that Father's telling me to get out. Three of Pentacles. When we work together, we're a great team. Divine masculine, that's what you want to tell your divine feminine. And those are the epiphanies that you're having this weekend. Is that you need to be working with your divine feminine, okay? Divine masculine, that's what you want to tell your divine feminine. You need to be working together. And that's how you're going to create the abundance that you want. It's not going to just fall in your lap. I know divine masculine that you want to provide for your feminine. I know you want to give them the world. I know these things as well. But at the same time, you know, it, it makes a lot more sense. And y'all are going to make a lot more money together. Trust me on this. I'm reiterating the things that I said in the in the channel messages, y'all. And this is just confirmation, all right? So Divine Masculine, I mean Divine Feminine, what would you like to tell your masculine? Knight of Cups, I hope you can tell me how you feel. Okay, so Divine Feminine, you've been longing for your person and you're just waiting for them to come in with communication. I'm hearing communication with this, okay? So you're just waiting for them to talk to you about how, how they feel, about how they want their life to be. And Divine Masculine, you're waiting on some finances, but at the same time, you know, it's about keeping your mind positive. It's about going after the things that you want. And in particularly, union, okay? So union creates abundance, all right? So Divine Masculine, Father has been showing you that this weekend. That's why you're putting down the alcohol. That's why you're putting down the whatever. You're putting it down. Mm, confirmation broke. You're putting it down. See, you're putting it down. Father is making this a very clear path for you, okay, Divine Masculine? And I hope you take it. Divine Feminine, don't worry. Just breathe, okay? Your Masculine is going to tell you what they want to tell you and how they feel in the right timing. Right now, they're stressed over finances, but they're seeing that the actual solution to their problem is you. Anyways, let's go to the next video for the next message. Thank you so much for clarity, Father. Thank you so much for your time. Next video, next video. All right, you guys. Okay, welcome, welcome back. All right, so I wanted to get some guidance for you guys because this seems like, okay, this collective for real is a, a collective that you're going to be coming into union soon. Okay, union is here already, but you're just waiting on it. This is going to happen in like a couple weeks, one week to two weeks, okay, you guys? Um, and I'm seeing some, it might even be this week for some of you guys, okay? But this is a very specific collective. I keep saying that, okay? But this is our gods, goddesses, and guardians deck. And I just want to do a five-card pool and see how you're feeling, how your masculine's feeling, how y'all are both feeling, what your ancestors want to tell you, and what's the outcome of the situation, okay? So how is divine feminine feeling, Father? What do they need to know as far as guidance? Hell, end of a cycle. Oh, my gosh. You are ending a cycle, okay? Whatever you just did shifted some things in your life and shifted some things in Divine Masculine's life as well, okay? You are ending a cycle. And I'm hearing that your Divine Masculine is following suit, okay? I'm hearing that y'all are both mirroring each other. But like in tandem, y'all are both, no, I, I should say tandem, okay? Because, you know, when you're in conjunction with your person, you move a right hand, they move a right hand. You know, when you're mirroring each other, they're doing the opposite, okay? But y'all are doing the same thing right now. Y'all are both ending a cycle, which is good. Father's telling me, Divine Feminine, that masculine, your masculine is following you because you're leading by example. You close some, some cycles in your life. You walked away from some scenarios and some people, and it's causing uh, Divine Masculine to be proud of you and actually do the same for their life, okay? Divine Masculine is achieving balance right now, okay? That's crazy, Mualisa. Achieving balance right now. Again, going through dark night of the soul, Divine Masculine. This is your your guidance, okay? You're going through your, your shadow side, your dark side, and your light side, and you're finding a way to balance it all, okay? You're finding a way to take advice, but not to be too gullible. You're finding a way to, you know, um, share with somebody, but not overshare. You're finding a way to talk to somebody, but not be too, too emotional. You're finding balance within yourself, and I'm loving this, okay, for you, Divine Masculine, especially because I'm seeing so much um, childhood wounds and childhood trauma being handled right now, okay? You're really dealing with some things, okay? And that's a hard thing to swallow. For both of you guys, y'all have inner strength. 
Rihanna, you have inner strength, okay? So y'all are both pulling off y'all inner strength right now, okay? Y'all are both, again, for the combined message today, gaining spiritual strength. Spiritual strength, okay? This was all for a greater purpose than y'all even realized, okay? So what, is, what advice do the ancestors have for this connection, Father? What advice do they have for this connection? Uh, Apollo, divine messages. Father's letting me know that he's sending you signs, okay? That is crazy. The advice that the ancestors want to tell you guys for this connection is that he's sending y'all messages through symbolism, through dreams, through whatever, okay? He's showing you the advice. He's letting you see it for yourself, okay? You've been seeing a lot of eagles like I have. That means you're soaring above the competition. You're soaring above everything down below. Things are getting better. You're rising above, okay? And then also when you see an eagle, you see... You know, your person is coming home closer and closer and closer. We, I've, I've been seeing storks, okay? So, you know, fertility, again, like today, a lot of fertility, a lot of big messages coming in about a new life, new birth, new things coming in, okay? Um, you know, and then protection. I've been seeing a lot of things that, that have been symbolizing protection. I've been seeing birds. I've been seeing butterflies, yellow butterflies in particular, okay? Things are getting better, okay? What's the outcome of the situation, Father? What is the outcome of this connection, Father? What is the outcome? Shekham! Oh my gosh! Persephone! New beginnings! You guys! <laughs> That's amazing, okay? Y'all, I just cannot make this kind of stuff up. Let's see what your, um, I'm going to go into some purpose cards just really quickly. That is crazy. I told y'all, y'all get together for a divine purpose. And look, the first card that comes out, this is for both of you guys, is Pilates. It says, double mission, channeling and uplifting humanity. Again, this connection is to help the world, okay? You guys might be writing a book together. Y'all might be, um doing some spiritual healing guidance okay you guys might be um nutrition is really big on my mind right now um i'm seeing helping people get healthier mental health you might be a, a psychiatrist or something like that helping people i'm seeing a lot of good stuff that's helping the world okay so this is what this connection is for and this is where your abundance and your finances are going to come from it's a double mission okay channeling and uplifting humanity both of you guys let me get divine feminine divine feminine father it says unbound releasing you came here to change your family pattern okay breaking generational curses it says releasing soul patterns contracts and past lives divine feminine you came to change and break generational curses okay you're breaking through some things okay unbound wow okay wow and i'm hearing that your your faith your faith and positivity is what's motivating this, okay? Because you're doing things against the grain is not normal. And it's probably making you feel delusional. It's making you feel kind of crazy. It's okay because this is helping your whole bloodline. Woo! Divine Masculine. Give me one for Divine Masculine, Father. Share your voice, okay? You are changing because you're changing the world with your communication and that's why you're working so hard on communication right now your throat chakra right now okay that's why divine masculine has been so silent in a lot of ways five 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 as i say that oh positive changes in the background okay divine masculine you're working on sharing your voice it says come out of the cave persecution expression okay so in in probably a past life divine masculine within this connection okay Again, this is a very specific reading for somebody, okay? In a past life, you've been persecuted for sharing your voice, okay? That's why you came back and you were so kind of, you know, you just do things without speaking. You don't share your feelings. You don't share how you feel about things. You don't share advice because it backfired on you at one point in your life. However, Father's saying, get out of persecution. Come up out of the cave and share your voice. The world needs your voice more than ever, okay? Because you're going to be the person that the people follow. I'm hearing a leader, a true leader, a true king, okay? So you have to find your voice right now. Divine masculine, divine feminine, I hope this information helped to bless. This was beautiful, okay, you guys? Again, this is very specific to somebody, and I'm loving it, all right? So, let's go into the last message for today. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I hope this encouraged and helped to bless you, okay?
Hi everybody, welcome back to Just Dream Guide. Okay, so this is the last message for today. This is the last message, all right? This is the enchanted map, but I'm gonna combine it with some love cards because y'all know I always like to end readings on love, on a love note. What do we need to know? But this is like guidance on where do we need to go next, okay? Because this weekend was a big, huge shift, okay? A lot of things happening in Divine Masculine's lives. Y'all might not even be in contact or y'all might be in low contact, whatever the case may be. Something happened, okay? I'm telling you, energetically, something happened, all right? So let's get Divine Masculine. Let's see where they need to go. What's the direction they need to go next, okay? Ghostland and goblins, okay? You have been in a freeze right now mentally. Right now, Father is saying it's because you have to manage your thoughts. Get those goblins out of your head. These are people that said some things in the past. Maybe even your person said some negative things in the past and you have to overcome that. So get those goblins, those negative thoughts out of your head right now. So that's why you're on a mental freeze. Right now your voice chakra, I'm hearing throat chakra, is, is kind of blocked right now because you're thinking of what to say you're processing some things but remember not to over process things that no longer serve you even if it came from your feminine okay let go of the negative thoughts okay i'm hearing negative thoughts from family members as well telling you what you should be doing instead of what you want to do remember today we're focusing on the sacral chakra what do you want it's not about what other people want for you it's about what you want for yourself okay so divine masculine get rid of those thoughts those that gossip i'm hearing people saying things that they didn't mean or people saying things that, you know, like doubted you. It's a lot of doubt that you still have in your brain. And that's what Father's telling me these goblins are, doubts and fears. And you see how I just cracked, my voice just cracked? You're, you're definitely going with, because you doubt and you fear right here, your throat, you're not connected to communicate very clearly or effectively right now. That's why you're at a freeze. Time is standing still right now when it comes to that, okay? Um, let me get two love cards for you. That's crazy because I literally just choked up talking give me two for divine masculine father and two game it says leap of faith and finances i'm telling you divine masculine you're dealing with some big financial issues right now but it's because you're listening to other people you need to listen to what makes you happy okay it says leap of faith and it says finances okay and again as you saw in the last video father's letting you know that when you connect with your divine feminine and you come into union the abundance just falls in your lap okay it's kind of like y'all y'all create together you know this father's showing you this in your dreams he's showing you that this is a teamwork effort thing that's going to bring you financial abundance and if you can choose to listen or you can choose not to it's up to you but father's he's the one governing this so you need to talk to father i'm not i'm just the messenger okay do not shoot the messenger but it says take a leap of faith right now it says it is safe to make the move you're considering okay and i'm hearing that some of you guys are actually planning to move or move on or move out of a situation okay it's safe to do that okay father's saying okay yeah so what about your finances it's safe to, to make the move that you want to make because we're going off of what we want out of life that's the only way that you can attract abundance and blessings. If you try to force things, you'll end up at a brick wall each and every time. So Father's trying to show you, okay? And he's saying no matter what people say about your finances or no matter how people try to hold you back or hold you down, get that out of your head for right now. He's put you at a pause for a minute to help you reflect, to get that out of your head. Take that leap of faith because it says financial challenges are affecting this uh, um, connection, okay? So divine feminine, let's get to uh, let's get one for you as far as enchanted map. Let's see what father wants you to go next. And it says bone collector. Okay, so it is just time for you to just chill for a moment. Okay, bone collector. It's time for you to chill for a moment. You know, patience is really, really, really what Father's asking you to have right now. It's patience. But he's saying it won't be long, okay? As you can see, this clock here, it won't be long, all right? Some of you guys may have some Indian in your bloodline. I'm hearing that specifically. Again, this is a specific message. You have Indian in your bloodline. You need to be sage and you need to be protecting yourself. You need to just be sitting and waiting upon Father because he's bringing this in quicker than you think. And I'm feeling like Father is letting you know this. He's letting you know this through ancestral whatever. He's giving you guidance. You might have gotten a, a vision in your head, a thought in your head. You might have had a dream that showed you that this is your person. Trust that, okay? Stop trying to go against the grain and go, okay, well, you know, I feel crazy, so I'm just going to let this go. No, Father is asking you to be on a spiritual, spiritually, he's asking you to be spiritually aware right now, okay? Bone collector, because the ancestors are trying to give you messages. Give me two cards for divine feminine and two can it says mastery and weight again did not just say patience 
And I just say that Father's got this and it's gonna be just around the corner. And it says, I love this card of the wait card because it says wait, the timing is not quite right. That means it's right around the corner. It's not quite right. It's not saying the timing is not right here. You know what I'm saying? Just move around. It's saying, look, you can just chill right now because he's he's mad, he's doing everything for you right now, okay? And it says mastery. It says divine feminine, you've learned the spiritual lesson in this, okay? Again, so much spirituality here, all right? That's what Father's saying. Follow your spirituality. Stop trying to follow your thoughts. You've learned spiritual lessons and you've gained spiritual strength. So follow your spirit in this right now, okay, divine feminine? Okay, let me get one for both of you guys. Let me get one for both. This has been a beautiful reading so far today, you guys. I'm glad I, you know, stopped and did this. For both of you guys, you got making a choice, okay? And y'all both need to make the right choice. Father is really, really, oh, he's harping on this decision that y'all need to make for yourselves because y'all have free will. But Father's giving you all the signs and letting you guys know that this is the right choice to make, to choose each other. By choosing each other, you choose yourself because you know that number one, you're lovable. You know that love is here. You know that um, you deserve true love, which is what this connection is right now, okay? So now that you both have completed a cycle, it's time to choose. <laughs> it's like at the end of a game show or something. I'm feeling like Survivor. You know that show Survivor? At the end, it'll like, you know, it's time to put your vote in. Okay, so what are you gonna decide, divine masculine and divine feminine? Father's saying, look, it's time to come back together. When y'all come back together, y'all are gonna have so much abundance in y'all household, happiness, peace, prosperity, money. You don't have to worry about nothing. And so he's like, but the whole point is to help the world. So that's all I need you to do is to continue to help the world. And so it's like, deal. Now father's like, deal. Are you gonna accept the deal? Deal or no deal? Give me two for both of you guys, father. Give me two for both. Oh, and one fell way over there. Ugh. It says time apart in marriage. Isn't that crazy? Look, right now y'all needed to be to, apart for a second. And again, I keep saying that for a second because it's something that's happening in the next week or so. Something is happening in the next week or so, and this is going to lead to marriage. It says some distance will help bring clarity. So it's okay that you guys are kind of separate for right now. Don't freak out. Don't be in a state of panic or whatever because y'all individually have to make the choice. You know, again, giving you Survivor, this giving me Survivor vibes, okay? At the end of Survivor, you know, when you gotta vote, you gotta vote individually. You have to make the choice personally by yourself, each one of you guys, okay? And that gives you clarity on what you're gonna choose. What life are you gonna choose? Are you gonna choose a hard life where you have to suffer and have to go through things constantly? Or are you gonna choose a clearer view of life where you can just with ease create some content create some things create some things to help the world and get abundance very easily happiness is there and most of all love is there so which are you going to choose okay but that's why you need time apart to get some clarity again get around water drink a lot of water take care of your body a lot this is extra okay i'm telling you extra self-care is needed right now okay but this relationship is moving toward a sacred union okay this has been validated. Father says, yes, this can stand the test of time. Yes, this is your person. Yes, I'm showing you the signs. Yes, the ancestors are helping. The angels are showing you as well. So what you gonna do? Bottom of the deck, energy is protected, okay? It says, you are safe and divinely guided. So you're divinely guided in the decision that you need to make. Father is showing you so many signs. He's asking you to accept, okay? Do you accept his proposal on helping and changing the world? Okay, this is beautiful. Not only do you get to change the world, but you get to have the love of your life, okay? So anyways, that's what I have for you guys today. Again, this shift is happening, it's shifting for a reason. It's helping, look, and it says protecting treasure at the bottom. Okay, this is protecting your future. Not only is this for, you know, um, the union that's coming in, you guys, within the next week or so, but you know, this is giving hope for the other unions that are to come in. So what are y'all gonna do? That's what Father's asking. So put on Angel Shuffle, ask those questions to the radio, to the stereo, whatever, the computer, the laptop, whatever, Alexa, whatever. And just say, okay, you know, what does my person feel? How do, how, do, how do they feel towards me? How do I feel right now? Father, what would you like to tell me right now? Ask questions and the song will come on and it will guide you, okay? Father is guiding you. Just keep aligned with yourself, okay? Know what you see is true. Know what you see is true within your heart, okay? That's what I have for you guys today. I hope this information helped and blessed. If you want to book JustDreamGuide.com, go to my YouTube. This whole video will be there. Thank you, thank you, thank you for your time. As always and as usual, I will see y'all next time. Thank you.